This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type http colon forward slash forward slash f-e-a-t-u dot r-e forward slash v-g-o. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Limit Geek. How do you like my new hat? Mario! And Mushroom Kingdom Blue t-shirt. Thought I'd, uh, you know, since I'm a gamer, I thought I'd dress up as one. Well, we're going back our, to our uh, walkthrough of Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, case number six, uh, Scourge of the Sea People. <clears throat> we're back in the adventure. <clears throat> Get back into the adventure with um, Simon Reading. So we were talking to uh, we were talking to the fisherman er earlier, and he wanted he he agreed that we were going to, he's going to be able to to take uh, Ben Jordan on a little ride in the in his boat, if and we could talk business as soon as we find some ouzo, which is a Greek alcoholic beverage. So we have to find some ouzo. First, so let's talk to Ben. Uh, Simon, see if we can ask any questions. Hey, Simon, hmm? I'll let you get back to your book. Right. Anything else you can say? Anything interesting? Avia is located on a fault line. I'll be sure to watch out for earthquakes. If I can sh show them our mirror. You can't really see how that would work. Okay, obviously I can't use the mirror. Uh, let's go outside. Go for a little walk. And of course the plaque says, there is a small plaque on the post. It reads, Seaside Bungalows for Rent. Price start. Prices start at 15 euro per night. Tourists welcome. All right, let's move on. Where should we go now? Let's go to to the left. Do, 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 do. Let's see, go to a little village. Okay, that's not where we need to go. That's that's where the fisherman lives. Okay, so let's go the other direction to the right. Let's go to the right. I got a Zorba the Greek song in my head now. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the bar. All right, a couple of guys at the bar. Apparently the old no shirt, no shoes, no service rule doesn't apply around here. Greek guy, man, you haven't seen hair like that since Florida. Bottle. You notice a bottle of ouzo on the table. Let's talk to this gentleman without the shirt. So what do you bench? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, never mind. How about this guy? Greek guy. <coughs> nice hair. Thanks, you too. Let's ask some questions. Excuse me. Eh, hey, you want something? Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ben Jordan. Look, Lambros, the American wants to be friends. Hello to you, American. I am Vagalis, and this is my friend Lambros. Hello, American. Um, hi. Um, Agia Anna. What can you tell me about Agia Anna? Not much. We come from Athens. I just like coming here to pick up the tourist women from the campsite. 
Now you are very nice here. Yeah, very nice. Right. Sea people. Do you know anything about the sea people? Sea people? Is that a band or something? I guess you don't. Never mind. Uzo. I see you and your friend are sharing a bottle of Uzo. You got good eyes. Where did you get it? Look around. You're in a bar. Not too hard to figure out. Yes, I know, but there is no bartender or anything in here. Y you have to ask the lady next door at the pizza place. She sells the drinks too. This place is just to sit. It's all over the signs. Can't you read? Not Greek. Too bad for you then. Well, anyway, thanks for the information anyway. I have to go. Goodbye. See you. Um, let's talk to the lady. Next door. Maybe she can illuminate us with our bottle of ouzo. Let's talk to the lady here. Could I talk to you for a minute? What do you want? Bar. So I was told that if I want to buy a drink from the bar, I have to come to you. Yes, I sell drinks too. Great, because a drink is exactly what I need right now. Very good. What do you want? Ouzo. I'd like to buy a bottle of your finest Ouzo, please. Did Gannis send you? Who? Old fisherman lives alone on beach. Yeah, he did. How did you know? He always sending people to buy Ouzo for him. Sneaky old goat. I'm sorry, but I have no more Ouzo. What? I just sell my brass bottle to Big Strongman and his friend. A new shipment does not come for two days. Aw, oh, man, I just my luck. See you later. Goodbye. Save progress. Uzo. All right, let's move on. I gotta get that Uzo, some one, one way or another. Let's talk to these guys. Excuse me. Hey, you want something? Uzo. I was wondering something. Yes, what? The lady next door told me she t sold you guys the last bottle of Uzo. I was wondering if maybe uh, you'd consider letting me have it. What? You give me, give you our bottle of Uzo? Sure, you know, like as a gesture of famous Greek hospitality. I don't know where you got that idea, but I'm not going to give you away my Uzo for nothing. Is there anything you like to trade for it? Not really. This is some fine Uzo. I think there is something we could do. Oh, what's that? We could have a drinking contest. Ah, good idea. We'll have a drinking contest. Drinking contest. Oh, brother. This ought to be interesting. Tell me more about what you had in mind in this for this drinking contest. Simple, my friend. And I challenge you to drink Uzo. Whoever drinks the most wins. If you win, I give you the rest of the bottle. That sounds reasonable, but I don't think that the numbers are fair. I mean, two against one. Fine. If you want, you get someone to join you, and we'll have an even match. Maybe not so even, though. Vegas can drink sink bottles of Uzo before he feels anything. Shut up, Lambros. Sorry. I have to go. Goodbye. See you. Now, so... What's this? Nail. A nail, probably one used to hang something, is sticking out of the wall. Oh, wonder if I sh Aha, so let's switch, get the, get the mirror. Take the mirror and hang it on the wall. And on the nail. You decide the mirror would look good hanging on the wall. Hey, what are you doing? Just summer decorating, don't mind me. All right. You hang mirror on the wall. 
Let's talk to this guy. Excuse me. Hey, you want something? I have to go. Goodbye. See you. Save our progress. Let's go over to uh, Simon. Now we're ready to do our drinking contest when we talk to uh, Simon. Talk to Simon, the simple Simon, the pieman. All right, let's talk to this guy. Hey, Simon. Huh? Drinking contest. Simon, can I ask you for a favor? Any time, what do you need? Well, there's uh, these guys over at the village bar, and they've got something I need. Ah, uh, and what might that be? Last uh, uh, bottle of ozo. I see. Do you want me to assist you in performing some sort of diversion, allowing you to stealthily look, lick the bottle whilst I'm not looking? Actually, I was hoping you'd team up with me for a drinking contest to win the battle from them. Ah, I like the idea much better. Your luck, my friend. We both we booze have stomachs of steel. Great. Let's get that ouzo. All right, here we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. All right, I'm ready to have to have that drinking contest. This gunny fellow is your butler. Oi, watch what who you're calling scrawny muscles. Oh, a Brit. This will be a good competition. Sit down. Let us begin. All right, get ready, guys. We got the mirror in the back. Now we play the drinking game. How exactly is this going to work? Well, I was thinking about it. You want this bottle with Uzo left in it? We can't have all drink. So it will be just you and your friend. Okay, okay. what are you supposed to do? Simple, I hold my hand behind Lambrose's head. You guess how many fingers I am holding up. If you guess wrong, you take a turns drinking until someone gets drunk. If one of you gets drunk, you automatically lose. However, if you guess correctly six times, I will give you the bottle of Uzo. Got it? You understand? Yeah, I've got it. Let's start. How many fingers am I holding up? Four fingers. Four? That was a lucky guess. How many fingers am I holding up? Five. Five fingers. Five? That was a lucky guess. How many fingers am I holding up? Five. Five fingers. Five? That was a lucky guess. How many fingers am I holding up? Two fingers. Two? That was a lucky guess. How many fingers am I holding up? Two fingers. Two. That was a lucky guess. How many fingers am I holding up? One finger. One. That was a lucky guess. Well, a deal is a deal. Here is the ouzo. Make sure you break it with water. Oh, now you tell me. Thanks for for the help, Simon. Not a problem, Ben. Although I must say that was a rather silly set of rules. Tell me about it. I've got a finger to hold up for that guy. <laughs> I'm going back to the bungalow. See you later. See you later. See ya. All right, guys. We got the ouzo. We got the ouzo. All right. Now we're gonna go to the fisherman. I'm going to talk to the fisherman. See if we can have a little discussion. Uh, not, Discussion between gentlemen and a bottle of ouzo. Alright. Those are fishermen's house. A small 
box of the mesh is hanging from the roof. Upon closer inspection, you see it contains several sets of tentacles. You don't find tentacles very appetizing, besides the flies already seem to have claimed them as their own. door. You knock on the door. Para calo para meter en el lepto. Oh, it's you. Come in. Excellent. Here we go. How can I help you? Let's give him the bottle of Uzo. As promised, fisherman. Here, I got you a bottle of Uzo. Excellent. I will get us some cups. All right. Sure. Now we can have a that drink. Um, not to be rude or anything, but I'd really rather not drink any more Uzo in this lifetime. Suit yourself. All right. Let's save our progress as fishermen. Have a little conversation with him. Can I ask you some questions? This is what you are here for, so go ahead. Boat hiring. Okay, so I kept my end of the b deal. Will you take me out on your boat now? A deal is a deal. I will take you on my boat. But first, I must tell you why we are going on my boat. I will tell you the legend of the sea people. All right, I'm listening. Here we go. In ancient times, before the rule of the Olympian gods, there existed ancient deities known as the Old Ones. Interesting. One of the old ones was known as Forces, a giant monster who ruled the seas. Ooh. He was a huge creature with the body of a man covered in a red spiked skin, the tail of a fish and the four legs like the claws of a crab. Scary looking guy. Forces represented all that was terrible in the sea, as did his sister, Sito. Sito was a hideous aquatic beast, the personification of unknown terrors and bizarre creatures. Forces and Sito's fell in love and were married. They had many children, all of which were monsters, which came to be known as the Forsites. Ooh. Some of the Forsites were horrible beasts, some were between man and fish. These creatures lived in a large settlement at the bottom of the Aegean Sea. Oh, looks like the three, uh, the three witch sisters, the three fates, and the one eye. The one uh, eye that they share among them. Most of the time, they stayed out of the way of the surface-dwelling men. But on the rare instance that something disturbed them, they would come out of the sea in search of victims to drag between and below the waves to enslave them or eat them. These monsters became known as the Sea People. Wow. Nobody has seen a sea person for thousands of years, but the legend has never been forgotten, especially among those of us who live near again. Wow, that's fascinating. So if you're going out on the boat, does that mean you know where they, we can find the underwater city of the sea people? 
No, I don't. However, there is some place you might want to go that I can take you. And where is that? There is an island not far from here. And it is said to be a magical place and the home of an ancient oracle. Really? Have you ever been there? I have been near it once, but I have never set foot on it. Well, sounds like it could be worth checking out. Okay, let's go for the sale. Here we go. On adventure. A hero's quest for the oracle. Sailing, take me away to where I've always been. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Well, we're on the boat. A medium sized chain, like the chain hangs on the hook, hook on the side of the captain's cabin. We're going to save a break, save our break, <laughs> save our game. Uh, sail away. And we are going to save our game and we'll continue another day. Gamers, thanks for watching. We play Ben Jordan, Scourge of the Sea People by Francisco Gonzalez. This is uh, case number six, uh, where we've managed to find the Uzo for the fisherman. We've we bribed him to set on set a sail to on our direction to find the Sea People. But first, we have to find the Oracle. I would appreciate if you would uh, like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, all those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, to get the latest updates on gaming videos that I'll be doing. And check out the links below. I'm your host, Miki. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more great game videos on Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Have a great week, folks. We'll see you again real soon. Garispara. Bye. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me